hi all so today in this video we are going to see about a bank for save function okay so for that let's take a form layout okay let me delete this section i don't need it fine so this form layout in that a bank for save so as the name suggests it is used to save a value and one important point is it it can like it should be only used with within save into parameter and if you see that save into parameter is more than enough to save a value so let's take some text boxes here okay uh, this is one text box and this is another one okay so I have taken two text box let me rename it as uh, first name and last name okay first name and then I want to rename it as kind of last name fine and so if I want to save suppose here the user entered their first name as Alex okay so currently it will not take let me take it into the value as well rule input F name so I have already created one F name and L name uh, rule inputs you can see yeah rule input is here of type text and if I use F name so you can see that if I write here now if I write LX here so LX will get saved here we can see that LX has been saved as it is so if we don't need to modify a value save into is fine but if we need to modify the value then uh, it won't be enough for example if some user enter the name as like this yeah, it can be done right and LX uh, uh, for example some LX uh, and some text it, this is what I am giving something like this so let's see what it is okay so in the value if you see that these all extra spaces are there oh sorry <laughs> last name was not saved okay okay one minute let me give the value here rule input uh, last name done and here rule input uh, last name it's fine Hmm. so now I have given the first name here and let's give last name as something as LX Hall like this and again a lot of spaces are there so like this if user enter it here you can see only all is there but here if you see the cursor is like this because a lot so if the final value is to be saved you don't want that when I click on save into uh, the name parameter should populate with the first name and the last name and all extra spaces should not be there so in this case like a bank save comes into the picture okay so let's uh, let's see we here we have saved as it is fine let's configure in the save into parameter so here only we can write save into and here we will give a list a bank save so a bank save now it has two parameters first is target and second is the value so it has uh, if I see it has two target target is like uh, where the data needs to be saved okay and uh, second parameter is value uh, value means uh, like uh, uh, whatever the value value needs to be saved value needs to be saved with or without modification with or without modification so if you want to save like some data I want to modify it or in some case I don't want to modify it so how to do it like this so here a bank save function is there now what is my target target is name and name should consist of both the first name and the last name so let's try to save it first as it is rule input name this is my target or let's write it much better always give the function name to make it much more better target is rule input name and now the value so the value will be what uh, let's give the value as well so the value is I want to save both the first name and last name let's try to save it as it is okay so value will be concat concat 
uh, okay so it will be concat rule input first name concat is just a function to combine two values rule input first name and rule input last name okay so if i click on now submit button so if you see that our name has populated but the problem is as it is after populating you can see here uh, trailing and some spaces are there so we don't want these spaces to clutter in the database so we have to remove this extra spaces only okay so for that trim function is there so trim function it what it does it it will remove all the extra spaces now let's try to submit now and let's see it has now reached to a very simple name that is Alex hole that's what we wanted so you can see that why we have used a bank save because it it has what it has done some modifications and finally it has saved the data we don't want the data as it is sometimes what happens is user will enter the data in the small case you LX hall and you have a huge case that uh, your data should saved into proper case only so in that case what you will do if I click on submit button in the database it is saved as this oh Alex all it is here let's give a bit of a space here uh, okay now uh, now it is fine and you can see that my name has not became like this so I want to do uh, with proper case okay so before trimming uh, or after trimming only let's make it proper case so there is a function called proper it will convert the text into the proper case uh, okay so now you can see that our name has become like this Alex Hall or you want to save it in uppercase let's say so it is like this it is uppercase all the data is now saved as uppercase whatever the data user has input it has not changed that value but whatever the value or in whatever form we want that's a we have created okay now a bank save doesn't only like this data needs to be saved some value like we need to save from our uh, interface to the directly some CDT as well so in that case also a bank save is very helpful let's try to see how to save data into a CDT okay so for that purpose like uh, what we will uh, not not no interfaces we will uh, create a CDT a very simple CDT okay a uh, sample CDT I'm just giving it a simple name uh, with just two three parameters we will try to save it and now let's see so first is obviously it will be number in teaser and let's make it a primary key okay and then name is there and name is text and now one is like created on when it was or you can say like submitted we are submitting the value so the data has been submitted on when it will be date and time okay and uh, submitted submitted by and submitted by something called text let's use this CDT and now let's try to populate this CDT with the help of a bank save function okay so first name last name is done and now uh, let's try to add this CDT of sample and here yes underscore sample is there okay sample CDT fine now I want to save my now whatever the data I have written currently I want to populate a, in my sample as well see this is all the very sim example okay so instead of all these rule input directly CDT could have also been used but this is just a, a sample trying to tell what are the different ways so one save into has already been used now let's try to save into another CDT mm, this CDT so a bank save like uh, like there can be a list in the save into you can see here it is a list of saves so multiple saves can be uh, done with the help of one save into a bank save now what is my target this time my target is a bit different that is a rule input sample and what is the value that I want to save there 
okay so the value that i want to save is it is a type of cdt the value that i want to save so to saving a value into the cdt uh, if you are like uh, if i suppose if i want to enter what are the fields here name so if i want like rule value is so target you have to specify here rule input rule input sample dot name and then uh, here the value will be suppose rule input uh, okay okay rule input name that L now let's try to see what happens so here i have saved a name okay name is coming as alexol fine but i don't want like everything dot 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 I, at a at a one time only i want to save all this data so what i will do here i will take it rule input sample only and in the value field i will take the type so type function uh, is very helpful uh, when you have to save the data into the cdt or it will you know like it will tells the type bank uh, okay so in this case if you see here our uh, i have uh, i have taken the type like what should be my type of the save it is a cdt and now one by one i can give all the value at once what is the id so id if you see here it is a primary key it doesn't needs to be uh, done okay so id name huh. name what we want is a name should be rule input uh, name that is done submitted so submitted on so when it is submitted it is a date and time field so we can take something as now function uh, to save into date and submitted submitted by so some values like we don't need any value so we can keep it null as well so whatever the value or in whatever form we can want we can take it now let's submit it so you can see here date and time has came as it is okay and name has come i have not kept submitted by so that is null for now or if i keep like logged in user so if i click on save so it will give uh, it will give the email id uh, okay of the user now that's again like we don't want the email id we want to save like it is submitted by which user so for that purpose you can again modify it like for example one function is their user which is used to get the user information and here username we have given and we want uh, what we want is a first name if I first name I guess it works okay and now you can see that only my first name is coming so in whatever form if we have to modify the data sometimes then we can use so that's all about the a bank save function uh, if what we have seen an overview is like uh, when we have to save the value straight forward no modification nothing is needed needed then save into is fine that it save it. but if we want to like on submit button a lot of uh, a lot of value needs to be updated whatever the value that has been saved on the form then a bank save is there or if we want to modify any value then a bank save will be important so for these cases okay now let's see about uh, what we can say is let's save uh, a bank for each a bank for each is very important uh, okay so here here only take here let me open an unnamed rule first of all let's try to see in the expression rule like how does a bank for each behaves so a bank for each so it is what it if it, it, it the definition it is saying that it evaluates the provided expression once for every item and returns an array of results so whatever the item we will pro, uh, we will give them for each item it will iterate okay it will uh, it will give the value so uh, it has two parameter items okay items is there an expression let's take the items as 1 2 3 4 5 okay and the expression okay so in the expression how to use how to use the expression so here only if we see the uh, what we can say documentation here so here only it is written the following special variables are available fb bank item is there okay fb means function variable fb bank index is there we can use item count we can use identifier we can use so so a lot of values are there so very common is fb bank item 
it means that whatever the item you have specified here all those item it will print one by one all these values are printed okay so uh, that's one let's take inside a bank local variable in that way we can define a lot of variables and then we can call each variable one by one okay for example lo local bank text is there so let's take some text here as uh, let's take like a and then b and then c is there okay now a b c is there and in inside this is this let me just cut it and here only local bank uh, local bank num is here so why i am taking local variable like we can define a lot of local variable at once only and then we can uh, change as it is so in the items now i want to call local bank text local bank text is here see one by one i can call them even now let's try to test this rule so if i test see i have currently i have given abc i have called here and it is printing the value abc if i don't want the value if i want the index like uh, print the index in appian index starts at one so it will print one two three values are there so instead of text if i define local bank num so it will take one two three four five so like that values you, you, it will take okay so let's take another example for example local bank value i have taken okay so i am just taking local only we can take rule input as well let's give 5 here okay and now i want to iterate over it suppose a bank for each is there and items is what items is uh, suppose uh, local bank value i want to iterate over it and the expression expression is what fv bank item so only 5 is there so it will print only 5 that's it nothing but if what if we want suppose like one question is there like how to write a table of uh, anything with the help of expression we can we can do it so let's see so for that purpose we will have to use one more function because if you if we have to see the table how the table is actually so table consists like if i take the example of five so five is there then into is there and then one okay and equals to one into five this is the this is the sample structure of a table again the second line now it will be much more clear 2 and then again 2 into 5 so like this table is like this so it means that 5 will always be remain constant what will change is here 1 2 3 and all these things will be changed okay and here as well 1 2 is changing and into uh, 5 is again constant let's try to do it here as well so here we want something which will change to 10 times table is like 10 times okay so we are going to change items to enumerate function enumerate function is like uh, what you can say here is it is a kind of function which will enumerate through the given number so let's let me just copy it and delete it okay fine so let's see enumerate here enumerate 10 if i write 10 so it will it enumerate from 0 to 9 so if i want the 10th value as well so we can give it a plus 1 so it will now have 1 to 10 so similar thing we are going to do with the help of enumerate here so 10 values we have taken now in our expression what was there 5 was there right so 5 is there so 5 is constant and where is our 5 located in the local bank value section so here only our 5 is here so we can see that local bank value now after value what we can do here we want an into operator multiply so for that let's use and to just combine this okay and then we can use a bit of a space here and bit of a space fine local bank value has came and now let's see again after that another term is there one two three now this is the term that will change every time every line it will change so every item will be iterated with the help of fv bank item so we have already taken it so local bank value into item uh, till now here it is taken then we need some equal to as well again let's just and and give, let's give it a bit of space and then 
after that we what we need in the output if you see that we need what 1 into 5 so 1 is what 1 is some uh, is stored in FB bank item already and then we need and uh, we need 5 so 5 is what local bank value and now let's try to uh, run it okay so I guess uh, here and was missing now let's test it so now you can see here we have got a table of 5 so 5 into 1 is 5 5 into 2 is 10 5 4 is 20 like this so we can take any any example here 51 and it will just print that value okay 100 percent okay so any random value we can fetch it and it will just provide us the table with that so that is one example of uh, what we can say is a bank for each so example let us take a bank local variable is there let's say local bank or data is there and in the array of data let's consider to few numbers like 2 3 5 6 9 10 20 that much is enough okay <coughs> now after that what we will do is uh, first of all let's try to print each number what are the numbers so we will first take items in the items over which i want to iterate like the loop will go through where is my data located so local bank data done and the expression i want to print like all the numbers done simple so let's test it and we can see all the numbers are now printed but I, if I don't want all the numbers I only want whatever the number that is even then what to do in that case so for that case let's see like let's attach a loop a if condition here if okay so let's say one if is there okay and now if condition will what do first of all we have to write the condition for odd uh, for even number let's say in even number any number can be divided by 2 and the remainder is 0 that is even number so how to get the remainder so for remainder there is a function called mod okay so if you see here it returns the remainder <coughs> and dividend dividend means whatever needs to be divided so if we buying item these are the item which I need to divide with the help of 2 and if <coughs> if the remainder is equal to 0 then it should print that number otherwise it should not print anything that's let's test it <coughs> so now you can see that only the numbers that are printed are even numbers let's say and the same thing we can do for the odd as well let's say they are not equal to zero for not equal to how to give it give it like this not equal to and you can see only the numbers which are odd are now printed so in this way like we can use a bank for each as well okay so i hope it was clear enough uh, and a similar thing we can do with the help of rule input as well we you just have to take an array for example if i have taken data here and in the data i have taken number integer just make it array okay and let's copy the whole data from here and paste it there okay and instead of the local bank data let's give it rule bank data okay okay two times data has been written okay one more uh -huh. a rule input it and still it will give us the same let's try to increase 11 here and you can see 11 has also been printed so same can be used in the interface as well <coughs> okay so no, no need to i guess no need to show that in the interface separately same thing can be shown there as well so that's all for now thank you